Hey guys, Bill from Competition Cars. Uh, I got another really cool car here we're putting up for sale on Bring a Trailer, a uh, seven day online auction. You'll see the video on YouTube first. I have to make it in YouTube format to send to Bring a Trailer. Once the Bring a Trailer auction goes live, I'll share the link so you guys can bid on it, know where to bid. So what we have is a 77 Cutlass Supreme Brome, 38,000 original miles. Pretty original car. I'd call this car probably driver condition overall. The miles are right, inside is immaculate, under the hood looks great, runs good, drives good, everything works. But it does have some imperfections around the car and on the paint. I did some paint work to straighten some things out. And we'll go around the car and I'll kind of tell you what I did. Um, and uh, it, it has some original paint, but there was a spot on the hood where the paint was dull, so we painted the hood. Um, the bottom of this door had some damage. There was an, a crease from here to here, so we had that painted and fixed. Um, I think this quarter was left alone, I believe. Now, I may, have, I may have painted this quarter because there was some shit. Yeah, I think I did this quarter. The top of the door, we didn't touch. This back quarter had some checking in it, and we had this painted. The top of the trunk painted, again, checking. There was some a little bit of like light surface rust. You can see there's a little bit of a small bubble still right there, very, very minimal. Um, we had the body fillers repainted. I had this, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of paint work on it, but it's white, blends and matches good. Um, so if you look, I left this fender alone because it wasn't that bad. This didn't have some, many rock chips, but you can see a little bit of checking right here. It was just worse in other spots. So I didn't want to paint any more of the car than I had to. Um, there's touch-up chips that we, that we touched on the car. Um, as far as rust goes on the car, we painted this lower panel here. There was some surface rust starting to pop up here, but behind this piece here, my, my mobile body guy didn't want to mess with it. He said, you know what? It's too big of a job for me to mess with. You can't really see it. But behind here, it's rusted where this trim piece connects to the inner fender here or rear quarter. You can't see it, but I'm going to disclose it, um, you know, only because I, I try to tell you everything I can and I see or know about the car. A couple dings here on the, uh, on the um, wheel well molding. We refinished the top. It's been dyed. I've got, a, I've got extra dye I'll throw in with the car. The roof's fine. Um, and I think we left this quarter alone as well. So again, it's got some paint work. It's not a perfect car. It's driver plus quality. The chrome is nice. The bright work is nice. Again, it's not, um, you know, Concourse show car, but it's a really nice driver. And aside from the little flaws in the paint and the paint work, like I said, the rest of the car is pretty much all there. It came with the original hubcaps and white wall tires. The tires were bad and it had the, like the dog dish type hubcaps. I put these on, I bought those from, uh, I think I bought them from year one or summit racing. They had a special on those rims and those were uh, BFG TAs I had on my 79 Trans Am or 77 Trans Am. I bought a different style of wheel. So I just kind of borrowed the, the uh, tires from it. So that goes with the car, obviously. You got a little split here with the paint and you can see we, when we taped it, I thought I could have done a little better job. You know, you just gotta get in there a little thinner and, and kind of clean that up a little bit. But you get that little spot there. But overall, I mean, it's, it's a really nice car. I'm just picking the, the little stuff so you guys can kind of see some dings on the wheel wheel molding. And that's stuff that you can buy on eBay and find over the course of time. Uh, so the chrome is nice. It's good. The back bumper's got a little bit of spotting on top. Nothing catastrophic. This is one of the best-selling cars GM had in the mid-70s. Like, everybody and their mother had one. Great color combination. Let's look under the hood before we put the interior. 354 barrel, all matching numbers, factory air. Again, it runs like a top, air was cold. We had the air redone, had it serviced. You know, we did a little light engine bay restoration. It didn't need much, just de detailing, cleaning, a little bit of painting here and there, just to freshen it up. Everything looks good. We left the original hood mat. I don't like buying the aftermarket mats because they just never fit as good. I'd rather have a little dingier one, have a good fit. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's just, you know, an older original car not restored we just did some freshening up to make it look a little bit better and bring it back to it's a it's more close to its original luster uh, but the block is is all good the head everything looks good all the paint and um things like that yeah just just a good looking car i mean not super super show quality but we brought it to the next level and, and took care of uh the imperfections that we found in it and the interior is really nice Again, so what you have here is you got a real deal 38,000 mile car with a spectacular interior. You know, pretty straight body without, with exceptions of what I told you. And I want you to get up under the doors too. 
It's a Brom power, uh, power windows, air, tilt, cruise, AM, FM stereo. All that stuff works. No cracks in the dash. You know, the seats look great. Door panels look great. Headliner's good. Everything's good to go on it. If you look back here, behind here, we'll pull the seat up. Nothing's split or dry. Doesn't look like it should. Yeah, you got some of this going on with the, with the rubber. And I point that stuff out in the pictures. Again, you know, it's not a, not a perfect car, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice enough driver slash local show car. All the jams in here look pretty good. Steering wheel's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, it had to, this wood piece here was kind of coming off, so I, I kind of just glued that back on, so you got a little bit of something going on there, but it doesn't seem to be cracked anywhere that I can see, which is typical. We'll go around the other side and look at the passenger side. It is a Brom, so it's got the kind of really cool looking seats. They did a lot of uh, type, type patterns back in the 70s, obviously. Like I said, the interior is really nice. And like I said, it runs good. It drives good. The air is cold. Sit back here too. I like the contrasting, contrasting black seat belts. Headliner is perfect. So I got, you know, 400 or so, I think, pictures of the car. So you can kind of get a good idea of what, what, you're, really, what you're really getting. Um, let's look in the trunk. And I've got the four wheels that'll go with the car. These are the hubcaps that came on it, but the tires themselves were pretty much shot. You got an older type of uh, style spare, extra center cap. Yeah, the trunk's okay. It's not, you know, it's not perfect. It, you know, you got this, some fraying of the rubber here. Original sticker there for that. A little spot here that the paint was kind of flaked that we touched up. So kind of go around the car one more time. <clears throat> Let's see, hit the key, it cranks, it runs good, drives good, air is cold. And we'll do a driving video, a cold start video, and we'll have a, some shots of the car outside so you can kind of see how nice the paint looks outside. As I said, we did a paint correction. Like I said, some of the cars were painted, the panels I told you that, but um, you can tell it's a, it's a legit 38,000 mile car. Just, you know, needed a little freshening up. So bid with confidence. I got a lot of pictures and I'll have some more videos. So good luck guys.